I'm always doing the most Finish my cup and reload Let it swing right back Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. So today's video, I'm going to be infilling and redesigning this set. This is after I think about four to five weeks. Everything is still in place and looking super cute and gorgeous. And these are my mama's hands. Um, what's up, mom? I don't actually think she watches my videos, but just in case she does, hey. <laughs> Um, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and sort these babies out and do a nice fresh design So I'm using the outer space cuticle nippers and I'm just gonna go ahead and use those to remove the crystals I do have two sets of these one for sort of like removing lifted acrylic and nail art and crystals and one for like trimming the cuticles I do like to have two sets of nippers because this way I can use one for um, trimming the cuticle area and one for removing nail art and crystals. It just means that the ones for trimming cuticles are nice and sharp and don't get blunt. So next I'm coming in and sanitizing the hands and then I'm going to go ahead and push back the cuticles. I'm pushing back the cuticles. I'm using the outer space cuticle pusher. This is from Glitter Planet UK and so is the nippers as well. I'll have them linked down below if you guys want to check them out. And you can also use my coupon code which is NINJA10 to get 10% off your entire order. Next I'm coming in with my e-file and I'm just using my cuticle bit to go around that natural nail growth and the cuticle area. As you can see it just helps to lift away any dead skin and overgrown cuticle and make sure that that nail plate is going to be thoroughly clean and free of anything that's going to get in the way of our application. So next I'm coming in with my e-file again but this time I'm using my cone bit and I just wanted to show you on the pinky we have the pearl pink pigment over a burgundy colour and look at the difference like I just wanted to file a little bit off and show you guys the difference I just thought it was bomb and I actually love our pearl pigments they again are available from Glitter Planet and I'll have them linked down below for you guys. So with my e-file and my medium cone drill bit, I'm going to go ahead and remove the existing design. I'm going to be filing right back down to that clear layer. That way we are ready to do our infill and then redesign using acrylic. Next I'm coming in with my ceramic drill bit on the end of my e-file and I'm going to go ahead and just take down the length of the nails. And we are also going to be changing the shape to a short coffin. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and do that and then I will be right back. Once I've gone ahead and finished with the e-file taking down most of the length, I'm going to come in with my hand file and then I am going to Go ahead and just file off any extra little bits of the coloured acrylic or glitter that are still left. I'm going to blend into the natural nail plate the existing acrylic and also just refine that free edge. Refining the free edge at this point in time isn't the most important because you will more than likely go ahead and do that after you've completely finished your redesign. Um, but yeah, these hand files as well are available at glitterplanetuk.com in a pack of five. I will have them linked down below if you guys want to go ahead and check them out. So I'm just going to do this and then we'll move on to the next step. So now I've finished filing, I just wanted to go ahead and show you guys up close and personal exactly how the nails look and my clear base. So I wanted to really get a good angle for you so you could see how thin that clear base actually is. I was trying really hard not to break my mum's hand but yeah, anyway this is as good as it was going to get. Um, but I hope you can see how thin that clear base is and how much I've blended that acrylic into the natural nail. 
So let's move on to the next step and I'm going to be using 129 from the Pastel Collection from Tones, 199 from the Vibes Collection, Teal Holographic Shards from Glitter Planet and Super Bond Nail Primer from NSI. So I'm going to go ahead and prime the nails straight away and allow that to dry. Next I'm going to go ahead and apply my clear infill as the base. So this is just super thin, as thin as I just showed you previously as how thin it is but it's basically just filling in the natural nail that is exposed you want to make sure you do not touch any side walls any of the cuticle any of the skin surrounding the nail plate you don't want anything to be touching the side walls because if it does you are definitely 1000% going to get lifting also you want this to be flush to the natural nail you don't want a big bump or a dip or a ridge or anything like that because as well that will cause lifting it is more likely to cause lifting Now it's time to come in with the design, so I'm going to go ahead and apply the blit So I'm going to go ahead and apply the baby blue to the little finger, and once I've done that, I'm going to be using the teal holographic shards and applying that to the tip of the nail, fading it up so it sort of like disperses out. And I absolutely love the teal shards; they are just absolutely amazing. Amazing. Next I'm moving on to the ring finger and I'm going to be using NSI's Purely Pink Mask which is sort of like a nude cover but it doesn't completely cover. Really weird, don't know how to say it or to describe it but it's absolutely stunning and I'm just using the teal holographic shards across horizontally across the nail. It looks so stunning and so elegant so yeah I absolutely love it. Moving on to the middle nail and I'm going to be doing an ombre. So I'm using that darker teal colour from Tones Products. I'm applying that at the tip and fading it up the nail and I'm making sure that that fade is not a harsh line, like it doesn't end with a harsh line, it is faded all the way in because if it did end with a harsh line you are more likely to see it through the next colour that you apply. So I'm going to go ahead and apply the lighter blue to the cuticle area and fade that down into the teal and as you can see that blend is not okay so what you do you work with your other colour and you work it up into the lighter colour. It's all about layering and getting that blend. I am going to do a dedicated video on how to ombre acrylics, so please stay tuned and look out for that. You must subscribe so you don't miss out. Like, you don't want to miss this. This info is vital. So moving on to the next nail and I am going to go ahead and be applying the teal shards. First of all I did apply the um, purely pink mask to the nail bed area and just blend that down and the teal shards is on the tip and faded up. Honestly it is absolutely stunning, I just absolutely love it and you need it in your collection and I am not lying, I mean look at it, it is absolutely bomb.com. So this is the final result. I did just do the thumbnail in blue and yeah, I'm showing you that here because why the heck not? I'm just doing a fully blue nail because I was going to add some striping tape and crystals on here. So now I have finished applying all of my acrylic design, it's time to encapsulate the nails. So, in, so to encapsulate the nails I'm going to be using NSI's Totally Clear Acrylic and their Monomer and I'm just trying to use one bead just because it's easier to get it all done in one go and I'm ensuring that I encapsulate all of the glitters making sure nothing is poking through but at the same time I'm patting down to try and keep the shape as close to the finished shape that I want. That way I'm not going to have a lot of filing and it's just going to make my job a lot easier. I remember when I first started nails, 
They were so thick, I'd just put it on and on and on and I thought the thicker the better. I thought the thicker, the stronger and the longer they're gonna last, but it is not true. So if you think like that, get it out of your head, okay? It is not the way. Building a nail correctly, having the apex in the right place and the structure correct is what gives it its strength. It's not the thickness. So it is definitely important to learn all of the good stuff, you know? Okay, so now I've finished and my acrylic has set. I'm coming in with my e-file and my ceramic bit and I'm gonna go ahead and shape the nails. I will do that with the e-file, I'll seal in the cuticle area, but once I've done that, I come in with the hand files and I will refine the shape of the free edge and also around that cuticle, just making sure that everything is perfect on point. Um, that there's no lumps and bumps. I check the nails from all angles. My clients think I'm crazy, but y'all, lumpy bumpy nails ain't my thing, okay? So it's definitely important. Do not be afraid to move your client's hand, to move your head to the side. You gotta do what you gotta do at the end of the day, okay? Just do it. Again, I just wanted to remind you guys that we have these files available at glitterplanetuk.com and I'll have the link down below. They come in a packet of five and yeah, they're just super affordable and super great. I love these files and I use them with my clients and myself as well. Okay, so that is filing finish and this is how the nails look. I'm gonna go ahead and apply my nail art. Here is the holographic striping tape. We have these available on the website. They come in a set of three, so this is the medium. You get a smaller and a larger one. We also have the stork scissors available as well. Everything, again, will be linked down below. This striping tape is the best striping tape ever. It does not come off the nail when you put it down. It's easy to work with. It was just an absolute dream. I mean, I've worked with striping tape before and it has been an absolute nightmare. You cannot get it to stick to the nail. It just does not do what you want it to do. But look, that has gone straight on there. I'm making sure there's no bubbles or anything in, just smoothing it down. But it really is stuck. As you can see, none of the corners are lifting. Everything is fine. Also, at the tip of that striping tape, you did see it didn't go right to the end and left a small gap. That's because when you apply your top coat, you want it to seal around and keep that striping tape in place. And if you don't keep that in place, obviously it's going to end up lifting throughout the time that your client wears the nails. So now I'm going in with some crystals. I'm using the AB Mixed Crystals and also the Opal Mixed Crystals. And by mixed, I mean there's three different sizes in the 10 gram pot. And I'm just applying those to the nail. Um, these crystals are available as well at glitterplanetuk.com. Don't forget to use my coupon code NINJA10 for 10% off. Honestly, these crystals are stunning. We did have rose gold available, um, but I have taken those off the website and refunded. I think there was maybe four or five people that bought them. I've refunded those and messaged them. I just want to let you guys know this because I want you to know that we are a brand that you can trust. I trialed them out on my nails and I wasn't happy with how they wore. So I was just like, y'all, we need to refund everybody that's bought them. Let them know the issues and that we are happy for them to obviously keep the crystals and use them as they please. I am sourcing some more because rose gold is life and I do want some, but they have got to be the perfect best quality ever and I will not sell something to you guys that I will not personally use myself um so yeah I just wanted to let you guys know that I didn't have to let you know I don't I don't know if I should but yeah I just want you to know that you can really trust us and quality is key it really really is and we will always stick by that and if something's not right it will not be sold and yeah, that is just all I gotta say, okay? <laughs> so I've finished applying the crystals and I'm just going ahead and applying top coat. So the top coat that I'm using is a Blue Sky No Wipe top coat and I really actually do love this top coat. It's super fast, simple and easy to use and no wipe top coats. I just love the fact that they do not have that tacky layer. I don't know why, but it's just what I prefer. 
Right, okay, so let's get on to encapsulating this striping tape. So for the striping tape, I do come in with a thin layer of clear builder gel and I basically just paint it on as I would a regular top coat. We're just doing it thin and the reason I'm using a builder gel is just because it has a little bit more strength and it's going to really hold on to that and keep it down. Nothing is going to be lifting that striping tape off of the nail. So I'll go ahead and do that, making sure to cap the free edge and also allow it time to self-level so that it hasn't got any like lump and bumps in there. Once it's self-leveled, I will go ahead and cure it and then I'll come in and add a gel top coat as I would normally. That just really keeps it protected. So now it's time for the cute as hell 3D nail and I absolutely love this one. So I've just sped it up and yeah, this is basically how I do the full 3D flower nail. So I hope you enjoy. Okay guys, so after adding some cuticle oil, this is the final result. I really hope you enjoyed this set. I absolutely loved creating it. Let me know down below what kind of colours you want me to do next and what you want me to work with or any particular glitters from the website because I can totally go ahead and do that. Please guys, always remember that you are bomb.com and lit as fuck and don't ever let anyone tell you any different because you've got this and I love you. Mwah. Bye. I'm always doing the most, finish my cup and reload Let it swing right back